What's up everyone, Dirty Sess, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn your FOV from looking like this to this on triple screen displays for taxi life. Let's jump in. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna head over to this webpage. Don't worry, I'll put the link in the description below and we're gonna download this universal Unreal Engine crap unlocker tool. This is the link that I used to download the unlocker. Now, let me show you how it looks like. When you first download it, it will be a zip file. You have to unzip it. And once you unzip it, it'll create another folder. And in this folder, you're gonna see a bunch of files in here. This is the application file that you're gonna click on once the game is open. Also too, if you have any other issues, my suggestion is to go through this webpage. There's a lot of information here. Like for example, if you can open the console using that little squiggly line right by the escape key over here, it will tell you how to remap it. Now with that being said, let's jump into the game. Okay, now that we started the game and full disclosure, I am showing you how to do this on my single screen, not on my triple screen display because it'll be a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing. So what we want with a triple screen display is for our FOV to look like this, but it doesn't. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you what it looks like and I'm gonna show you how to turn it to this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tab out of the game, you know, open the folder where we extracted the contents. And we're gonna click on this file. Once we click on this file, the first line here is to select the process. We're gonna hit select and we're gonna select the game, which is Taxi Life. Highlight it if it's not highlighted and then click on select. Once we get that done, we're gonna select and we're gonna click on inject DLL. Now, if you see on the top left-hand side, it's doing, it's processing. Once that's done, Minimize the program, minimize the folder, we're right in the game. Now to open the console, you're gonna hit that squiggly line that's shared with the escape key. And you're gonna see in the bottom that the console has opened. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what the FOV looks like and what it looked like on my triple screen display. Pretty much, this is what it looked like when I first installed the game and I was inside the cabin. I went out of the cabin. Look at this. It's unplayable. You can't do anything. Look at this. You're like eating the steering wheel. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change this. We're going to hit the squiggly line. We're going to open up the console that's here in the bottom. We're going to type in FOV. And for a single display to get it back to the way it was, it's 80, but for my triple screen display, I set it to 140 and it looked like this. This is the difference. And from here, you could adjust. Now, depending on the resolution of your triples, you may have to mess around with the numbers. Try 150, 110, 120, see what suits you best. But that's it. That's the only thing you need to do, and you're off to the races. There's one little caveat though. Since the game does not officially support triple screen displays, you're gonna notice that your right mirror, your right side mirror is gonna be on your right monitor. And for some reason, it stays frozen. It doesn't work until that right mirror is in the middle display i just want to let you guys know so you don't think that something's wrong with the game or anything like that i couldn't get it to work the only way it works is if i actually pan and look at the side mirror so it's gonna be a little tough but at least you're able to see the full cabin with your triple screen displays you're able to drive you just have to be a little bit more careful on your right side if you know what i mean but that's about it Again, if you're having any issues, head over to that webpage. There's a lot of solutions there that will help you out. I'm hoping that it goes as smoothly for you as it did for me. 
And one last thing. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. Like and sub. I live stream almost every day. Stop by, hang out. We can shoot the... Sh I'm pretty sure that the rest of the dirty ones and I would love to see you guys there. Ladies, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.